Hi everyone and welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time Talks. Today I am really honored and really proud to have uh, with me the superwoman of uh, Indian golfing and that's Mrs. Dipali Shah Gandhi from Zaveer Chand Sports. Ma'am, welcome to Tea Time Talks. Thank you Aditya. It's really nice to be here with you. We have been interacting for many years now. Uh, OPL League was a great initiative by you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we were happy to participate in that and uh, I'm looking forward to today's session. Ma'am, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that and I'm really happy that you made time uh, to come and have a quick chat with me because there's so much to explore about you uh, that I really want the world and especially India to know because you're so inspiring uh, in more than many ways. No, no, Aditya. I'm just a worker like everybody else. <laughs> so, ma'am, uh, can you share a bit about your journey in golf and what made you begin or join this sport or industry? Where do I start? Uh, 1990, uh, I was running my Mamaji's engineering factory. Okay. And he was ready to retire and let me run it and he said well what do I do now and I said well golf is your passion do something there Wow. and we have a factory in those days in Malaysia Kuala Lumpur and we saw that um, golf was picking up like anything there and um, I, I said you know we come from Baroda which has an army cantonment uh, everyone played golf there we were close to the Gaikwad family there so he started interacting because he remembered as a child that he used to play golf in the palace grounds okay right so with Samarjit uh, Gaikwad he um, started um, talking about golf and Samarjit immediately went whole hog and we started manufacturing golf clubs. Okay. So since it was his vision and I was his arms and legs, I did the running around, went to China, went to Taiwan, went and trained uh, in UK, USA. And we started manufacturing golf clubs. Wow. So, so we s supplied golf clubs uh, to the canteen stores department and other places did well till 96 that time um, we just felt that there was opportunity to bring product that consumers wanted and golf had started picking up mm -hmm. uh, more golf courses were coming up at that time and um, so we went ahead signed up with Titleist and Footjoy brands we are still associated with um, Anand my husband is an electrical engineer from Madison Wisconsin and he was in his family business um, that produced transformers and electronics and keen golfer Wow so I said hey boss let's team up and do something more <laughs> excellent and so we went into the golf cart and we're here it's still doing wow, this it's, it seems like an amazing partnership like you managing an engineering factory to coming on uh, learning golf starting manufacturing clubs and then having the best partnership of life uh, with your husband to actually increase uh, the offering and uh, yeah. you know go into uh, it's, it's been a wonderful journey <coughs> continues to be do so uh, we, as you read my whatsapp uh, and my social media pages we live and breathe golf that's you know? true <laughs> and if someone were to tell me let's do something else i would say I don't think I know how to do it anymore <laughs> so I really want to talk a lot more about this because everyone needs to know especially the women and you're such an inspiring uh, and lady the children. 
and the children so i have all those lined up for you to ask one by one <laughs> but right from 1991 till date uh, which is about over 35 years uh, how would you describe the current state of golf in india how do you think it has evolved you know we were very very enthusiastic in the 90s thinking oh my god lot more golf courses are going to come up and they have but not at the speed that we expected them to uh, unfortunately predominantly even today the army has 50 the defense services not the army alone have 50% of the golf courses, golf courses right. in india which are not open to everybody correct in some few locations they are but mostly not right um and that if they could open would really bring golf up um there are some courses that have come up which are real estate de- development uh but you know if you think about it and i often reflect that so many of our players have done worldwide on international tours right and they are obviously icons for our youngsters to come into golf to understand that if they could achieve with virtually no facility from where they were to where we are today facilities have improved uh therefore i'm always encouraging youth especially in secondary cities and towns where they have the space and the opportunity to pick up golf and become golfers i mean how how wonderful it is you're spending 4 hours amongst fresh air greenery it's a lung space correct you know uh, even if you play tennis for example you're playing tennis on a concrete court correct okay you you're pumping energy and iron but you're <clears throat> not it's a quick fix to be active but you're not really looking around and enjoying the space around you correct and that's i think very much required golf not only gives you the exercise but it also gives you time to meditate true to reflect on everything you're going through on a day to day basis because you're primarily playing with yourself correct and i also feel that it's a clear reflection of your mind like what goes on in your mind when you are playing a round of golf is exactly Uh, what is seen on the course through your game absolutely you know that if you want to know what a person is all about play golf right you will know <coughs> exactly where that person is and how he stands so his character does come out uh, the way he plays golf absolutely right and ma'am picking up from what you said an example of tennis i've been a tennis player myself what i realize is golf is perhaps the only sport in the world which has a different course different court different field anywhere that you go and no two golf courses are the same correct so that itself in uh, is a very nice challenge to have and it's something very different and new that uh, people should look forward to yeah uh, that is why you always hear of golfers going to various courses uh, tourism is a great aspect of golf because right. uh, golfers are always looking to play new challenging courses true and uh, uh, ma'am what do you think uh, then is the biggest challenge that uh, india is facing in terms of growing this game the biggest challenge <coughs> of course is land 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 in india is very very expensive and one hopes that like in korea which is similarly so expensive there would be more driving ranges more people to play some golf but also as you know in golf it's all about practice and right. more practice to be better and better correct 
if people and and you know if you go worldwide the concept of ranges has changed right it's no longer ke bhai aapne ja ke golf ball mare aur kuch chai pani piye aur nikle gaye now it's a part of your lifestyle that you right. go hit balls spend some time relaxing and then move on so uh, you know the concept of driving range with a nice restaurant a, a great ambiance really works right and the player gets to practice and then can go and play on any course possible a lot of these courses like if you have been to bangalore to the tea she has created indumati baskar has right. created a beautiful nine hole small facility to play so you don't need a championship course to play and play right. you can play on nine holes you could repeat with different tees again correct and it becomes a way of life true i don't know any golfer who doesn't think that i can do without golf right <laughs> i don't that's, know anyone like that's that. that's the biggest addiction that this game has absolutely yeah. and you make like plum friends true i don't agree with this concept that everyone is talking about that it's a great golf networking opportunity maybe a golfer is not looking at that he is looking at to interact with like minded people people yes that's true and uh, when you are spending 3 uh, 4 hours 5 hours with a group of people whom you are playing with uh, you just don't make an acquaintance as you said you no, you make a friend for you life. make a friend for life and then whenever you travel you can travel together if Absolutely. they are from a different city when you are visiting you always have a golfer friend uh you know ready to, to host you to, yeah absolutely you know um i was in uh, scotland and uh, we were strapped and i just called uh, there used to be a a coach here who was from scotland and i just called him up i said ian hey i'm in town the next thing i'm meeting him and having a good lunch <laughs> right and what i even i have seen that uh, uh, so i used to be a, a real estate developer before getting into golfing and uh, today when i go and introduce myself to somebody uh, i have seen the difference introducing myself as a real estate person as compared to saying that oh i'm a golfer <laughs> yes. and if the person in front is also a golfer then you just connect yeah, at absolutely. a totally different level immediately absolutely and uh, i mean that that's the most amazing part of this game as i said i mean <clears throat> since 90 i've been in the field of golf i cannot imagine myself anything else but Doing to anything. be there true <laughs> <laughs> and ma'am now uh, coming to the driving ranges and the technology that has also evolved over the years so driving ranges are not just a place to hit balls as you said there's so much of technology going on behind it we have these launch monitors that give you a lot of data about how you are swinging the ball and what should change and uh, you even being an integral part of this uh, with your equipment of uh, you know titleist fj what is uh, your idea on how is this evolving and how is it getting better you know uh I don't agree with the thought that if you're a golfer eventually you're the man behind the machine of course it is an integral part mm -hmm. but it is not the only part right. technology evolves technology helps design a better product uh and as one plays golf the way you play golf changes whether it is improvement or not uh, age factors come in so today's technology helps every kind of golfer to consistently perform in spite of the disadvantages he is having right and that is why i totally believe that the changes the technology advancement 
every golfer should use it to the maximum correct so that he continues enjoying his game despite any disadvantages that he may have correct i have a bad back i have aged i don't play the way i used to earlier right i need that help that the club can give me true the ball can be ball is a very important factor a lot of people think what is in a golf ball i have proved consistently time and time again by switching people to play a certain ball after checking their ability to hit the ball providing them with the right golf ball has changed the way they play completely wow. interesting if you speak to rahul devan in uh, bombay right he used to play with just about and you know we all receive golf balls when you are playing tournaments you know the goody bag so he would play any ball and he he'd say well, i'm a five handicapper i don't need to i can play any ball and i switched him and if you see and speak to him he'll tell you it made the world of difference wow and that's what technology does correct and uh, with with technology you when you're analyzing your swing you can even actually identify that uh, based on my swing speed you know this ball would suit me or that uh, and also which are your weak spots in your game right and how you can improve your game from there correct correct so, uh, it's overcoming uh, as opposed to tennis where you are shaping the shots here you're letting the club correct shape your shots your swing is the same right i i have heard so many coaches you know telling me and telling their students that trust your club you know don't try to hammer the ball or you know Absolutely. use force just trust your club and trust your swing so you don't have to uh, you know do too much of a variation if you want to hit long short whatever it is absolutely and uh, is exactly what you also said that you should just trust that technology which is built and packed into the golf club as well that will help you it's it is going to do what it is supposed to do you know uh, one thing i must say uh, coming back to the topic of <coughs> growing golf in india um i totally believe in the concept of variants of golf mm -hmm. and therefore you know i love the concept in rajkot uh there's a municipal park a public park right and some golfers they became golfers watching it on youtube and televised uh correct you know uh, tournaments so they said why not do it and they didn't find the place so they actually in the morning picked up the rubbish that people had left mm -hmm. put in some holes and they played golf wow i mean how great is that my that is really something amazing and that just shows that if you have the will you will do it do it correct many years back uh, you know i saw this movie slum dog millionaire correct and i i always wanted to do something for caddies mm -hmm. because they live in slums not great conditions some of them don't even have a proper bedroom to sleep in right. there it's their hall the kitchen the bedroom everything rolled into one correct and i thought why can we not do something for these guys they're people like you and me and what can we do how can we make them self self sustaining i don't believe in doles i don't believe in handouts i believe in helping people help themselves right that's where your self respect comes from that's right you don't feel good when someone is giving you something Correct. you know you you don't want anyone's pity nobody does You're right and so that was my moment that i wanted to help them help themselves 
Wonderful. So I spoke to a couple of caddies and I said, let's make clubs that you can bend yourself and hit balls off the street. Right. And they did that. And they found someone. I think it was somebody, a member from Chambur Golf Club. Uh, I think it was Mr. Kachalia. And he said, okay, I'll, I'll spend the money to video shoot it, whatever. And they did this YouTube of them hitting through various streets of Bombay. My God. And it has been worldwide right. seen. These guys have been called to various places overseas to play golf on the street. And it has changed their lives. True. And I hope that more and more people do this. I mean, uh, see that uh, that's you actually live by what you talk like. I mean, we all can still play golf, but taking it to the level of, you know, the caddies trying a hand out and uh, just learning by way of watching uh, people play and then do so well is, is amazing. And when you're trying to help them out in that way, that's truly incredible. Man. Thank you. Amazing. That's I didn't do it for me. <laughs> no, but you did it for golf. I mean, that is yes. <laughs> how selfless you are, which is the best thing about you. There was so much involved into and for the game now i uh, slightly uh, uh, diverging from this what is your take on the women playing golf i mean you are such an impressive woman yourself you are a golfer how many women in india play golf and how is that uh, changing as per you well, unfortunately, I'm no longer a golfer these days. I don't get to play golf because of my back and my tight schedule. Um, but yes, a golfer is always a golfer. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, you know, um, worldwide, people see women accompanying their kids. And therefore, everyone thinks... What is the point of them sitting around? Why don't they come and enjoy themselves? And that's exactly what is happening now in India also. That instead of women going shopping, they're picking up golf. Golf. That's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Uh, that's how it should be. Yeah. I mean, uh, and uh, even in, in our friend circles, uh, golfer friend circles, when uh, we when golfers meet, they only talk golf. Like... So I've seen a lot of uh, my friends, you know, the wives and all, they are like getting bored that, uh, you know, these guys only just talk golf. So I always tell them that why don't you start as well so that you are a part of this conversation. You understand what we're saying. And quite a few of them have actually, you know, started. They said otherwise we, we have no time. And with this we can at least spend some time together. If not together, at least we make separate friends but we are playing the same game it's really incredible and thanks to a lot of clubs adopting this that uh, even if women are not members they allow them to come and practice which is a very good thing but yet um, there are not so many men golfers as there are men um, and I think that has to do with the Indian uh, social uh, that we are so family oriented that a lot of time actually does go away to looking after one's family whether it is the in-laws or the parents or the children or the husband whatever right. um, and therefore a lot of women don't get the time to get out and spend like they wanted to and I think uh, that is slowly but surely changing, changing. also. Uh, someone told me, a friend of mine, that, uh, you know, uh, 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 a, a lady that uh, we want to play golf just because you get amazing clothes uh, for women. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so apart from that, uh, what do you think, ma'am, can drive uh, more women to come and start playing and... Uh, 
try their hand out at least at at the sport well i think if women really seriously come into golf they'll find that they get long lifelong friends that's true who they can also shop with and also have fun with correct you know? <laughs> true that's true you know uh, i don't golf anymore but my two best friends are golfers and i love spending time with them whether it's just chatting about their golf game or where we are going to shop next you know so you can have all these kind of conversations in the 4 hour 5 hour absolutely <laughs> <laughs> if the husbands are watching this and also bitch gonna... about the husbands <laughs> All right so for all the ladies out there i mean think about it <laughs> <laughs> ma'am uh, where do you see uh, the future of golf in india where do you see uh, the golfing scene in india in the next 5 to 10 years golf has picked up of course but not in the leaps and bounds that we expected it to um covid has helped because people realized how important it is to be out in the green air fresh air not cooped up in an office or in a club environment uh and so many people have picked up golf unfortunately golf courses have not abounded as much or driving ranges have not abounded as much and of course you know to build a golf course you cannot do it in a few months or a year correct it takes minimum 3 to 4 years to build a golf course True. and then maintaining it is also and maintaining it so in fact we just completed the golf industry association meet where we invited real estate developers to come and see that they can do like this property oxford golf course where they can play golf and also have a place to stay in right so that it becomes a lifestyle for them True. you know and so that is why we are encouraging real estate developers to incorporate building whatever size golf course that they wish to but build it so that people get an opportunity to have fresh air and oxygen around them play a sport that they will enjoy develop camaraderie and it also increases the ROI for the real estate developer because obviously he can charge a little more premium and in uh, uh, that's true ma'am so where i stay is a golf property and i've seen when i moved into uh, that complex um there were only about 15 odd golfers including me and uh, today in about 3 to 4 years we have the community of over 200 golfers exactly and uh, <clears throat> all they have to do is just go down and yeah. uh, you know play it's an amenity that has been given to you yes. by the developer you're paying for it in in your maintenance and other things so why not use it and uh, definitely that is one of the big aspects which is helping the so that is what uh, we feel that that is the only way golf will really grow where uh, you have more such uh, delhi gurgaon many such places have opened up whether it is jp greens in greater noida or uh, supertech godrej golf links these are the places you can see are filling up with people actually wanting to live a better life true but what i want to see is more public pay and play course courses where any man of the street <coughs> can pay 200 rupees and get a round of golf right because that man who's paying 200 rupees is probably spending that in his entertainment correct so why not give him space to give him today uh if you don't forget inox but you go to any normal theater 
ticket is not going to cost you more than 200 rupees oh absolutely much right? more than that and you're spending 3 4 hours there correct correct you spend it at the golf, golf course. course that is what i hope will come to india where i don't i don't believe that you know people say that oh it should be as popular as cricket that cannot be that cannot happen correct that cannot be but if more and more people can come into golf and the government supports it by giving land an opportunity to develop the golf course through whether it is sports authority of india or ministry of tourism or any uh, aspect of the government where or the public parks division uh, you know pwd has lot of uh, land available give it build courses let people come and play and play and at a subsidized uh, and at very a subsidized, subsidized rate, rate. You're, you're looking at the health of india right true very true and uh, i mean that, that's a great thought ma'am if 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 that could be done with the support of the sports ministry and and the local governments uh, so much vacant land is there yeah. i mean you don't even have to make a really top notch golf course no you can just make a place the dumping grounds can be created created yes yes and do you think ma'am the uh, simulators or simulation studios can also help in this although they are not uh, the open uh, air metropolitan cities of course right because <coughs> a distance to commute uh, but at the same time uh, if a simulator is nearby a lot of people after work hours just hang around with some friends just freshen their mind before they go to home right that that is an ideal scenario where they can go hit some balls freshen up maybe have a glass of soda or coke to drink and go home fresh correct and it it also will encourage people to yeah. because it's quick you don't even need that much time you don't need you that much time you 45 minutes more than more enough. than enough time is not a restriction you can even go absolutely. late evenings absolutely uh, rains is not a problem so yeah that's 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 a uh, i think it's an upcoming thing and doesn't even require too much the space also the other thing is that india is now a global player right correct we have so many bpos people who are going overseas to work if you are intermeshing with the fabric of any place worldwide golf is an integral part true whether you are in thailand whether you are in uh, uae or whether you are in the us or europe it's part of life for a lot of people there correct doesn't it give you an opportunity to intermesh with people local people if you are also playing the game true and uh, ma'am just last month i was doing a new league at uh, aurangabad and uh, i was speaking with the uh, municipal commissioner of aurangabad and he made a very important point that even the industries the industries from the west or the east when they want to come to india they choose a city based on whether it has a golf course or not absolutely that's what modi ji so. <laughs> did for gujarat <laughs> you remember <laughs> correct so it plays such an important role i mean way beyond just the game even for the country to develop more absolutely. courses it it's a huge uh, attraction to bring in bigger industries golf tourism inbound golf tourism needs to happen why are we going to thailand or other places to play golf we are doing that because we want an opportunity to play golf in other countries other beautiful courses and feel good about having done that that a can happen internally domestic that people if they get more golf courses to play on will actually go to other courses play on them and 
increase domestic tourism, tourism. and any case india has so much to offer we have yoga we have wellness we have so many other things it becomes a deadly package correct if we in put golf and remember this that in golf you are spending more than in any other sport not only sport but if you are going coming in for a holistic experience or for a wellness experience if you combine that the person coming in is spending that much more correct and yeah. that will yeah. drive people and families that okay our buddy i'm going to play golf with my buddies but the wives can go to the wellness or spa centers correct correct or learn yoga we offer that in any case right i think this can be a deadly as you said a deadly combination absolutely. of absolutely wellness and golf absolutely. package put together absolutely so it can be like a wellness tourism yes kerala offers a different sort of wellness uh the mountains offer a different sort of wellness have you been to ananda i have heard of it haven't been to it it's a fabulous spa center and they have golf right what a combination that is super so uh ma'am how do you think i mean looking at all these aspects that uh, the indian golf industry can actually compete on a global level we have not arrived for inbound tourism mm mm-hmm. we need to be that but where golf courses are concerned we have a fair share of top designer golf courses uh i won't say that it's there in every uh, city city right. but yes for example delhi has Gurg- delhi when i say delhi it means ncr too uh pune we have oxford you have prestige in uh, bangalore bangalore and kalhar in uh, kalhar in amdabad have right. you seen that clubhouse the new clubhouse oh my god stunning stunning <laughs> i would compare it to any of the palaces of the world true true <laughs> you know? true very true it's amazing even incredible <clears throat> india always showcases the golf course Ooh. in baroda Baro- around the palace, palace. yes we've got it all but we are not making it happen correct what do you think can change that ma'am how do as per you how do we support from the government right government really needs to step up and recognize that golf is a great revenue earner for the country correct and in more than many ways in more than many ways okay. yeah with this we've always concentrated on goa who are coming to goa the backpackers how much are they spending we want people to come here and spend money correct we are no longer a developing nation we have developed right so why are we not offering the same sort of facilities correct i think uh, i mean with the gia <laughs> and the push that uh, it can bring uh, the government should definitely step up and think about this aspect because it's going to bring in the whole world we, we have great best. we have great weather uh, and uh, you know we have decently well educated uh, we are an english speaking country we are an english speaking country so where, where a lot of countries are not not correct so we face when i've uh, taken a few tours to europe we faced so much challenge with the caddies i mean on a brand new course sometimes you need some guidance but can't talk a single word absolutely uh, we don't have that problem yes i think uh, you all should try again <laughs> <laughs> we will <laughs> we will in these uh, 35 40 plus years of being into the industry what is uh, your most memorable uh, you know moment that just comes off your head uh, the best moment that you in terms of excitement in terms of <laughs> what in terms of excitement about this game about this sport you know it's hard for me to actually pinpoint um 
every day i get up and i say what next and there have been such great interactions and experiences with people and i remember oh yeah when i first started manufacturing clubs it was a friday evening and i was in the factory and i told the manager i said you know mao there's a golf course let's go and have a look and uh, he said okay my driver says madam mera ilaka hai chalo chalte hai ha <laughs> so i said okay get the map and everything in 90s hmm. we didn't have gps we didn't have um, mobile phones we didn't have um um we we were using maps maps paper maps so sadly halfway through on the road i said are dinesh uh, map hai na rasta malum hai are nahi yaar kya main bhul gaya oh, okay, okay. oh no <laughs> bhul gaya <laughs> great <laughs> suddenly the car had a puncture and we are down and there's not even a crow flying in the air oh my god and there was suddenly one man going by the cycle i said bhaiya mau jana hai he said wo to us taraf hai 100 km are baap re <laughs> so we landed at mau at 10 in the midnight uh, at night right. and i said nobody is going to be there saturday night army right no one's going to be receiving us well, let's carry on to indore we went to the bus stand had some great parathas right. at the bus stand and found a place to sleep and uh, next night day we came back to mau army commander received us very well we spent the day showing our products and then he said oh my god you better go it's late and uh, there's a place called jabua mm-hmm. so if you don't take uh pa- be part of the convoy you're in no man's land so we stopped to fill petrol and uh, the petrol guy said come on hurry up hurry up the uh, convoy is moving and if you can't they won't allow you to go through oh my god so i think we were the last to get in there was a car ahead of us so we were trying to speed up to get close but because everyone had said this we said bhai a golf club mein pakdo those people seeing us at the back thinking god knows what decoys must be coming <laughs> they could see some lakda <laughs> so they kept going faster but we managed to get through and it was such a hilarious experience wow and <laughs> that too early on uh, <laughs> in your in your career with this uh, but did the did the army guys like it uh, did they buy some clothes from you yes yes we were sold out <laughs> yeah, sold <laughs> worth worth all the trouble yes <laughs> super ma'am uh, one last question what message would you like to give to aspiring golfers in the country it is not only to aspiring golfers but to all juniors and women that come and try your hand and learn to be with space and you'll find that golf really helps you not only does it help in giving you team spirit but it helps you as a person right it helps form your own character because in golf you can't lie true and it also teaches that yes if you make mistakes you learn to overcome those mistakes there is no right and wrong you know in life there's always another way of looking at it correct and 
I think in golf that's what it teaches you that you've made a wrong swing but you remember your good swing right and you want to try and reach out to that right and i think golf gives you so much so have faith and continue the game <laughs> lovely uh, ma'am it has been an absolute honor and it's what, my honor what a superb discussion we've had with so much insights fun experiences and of course your inspiration for so many women children i think uh, you know i'm 65 years old now and are you <laughs> <laughs> i'm proud of my age uh, i have still good years to go and i feel that if women look at me and see what i derived from golf they will be wanting to do the same wow and i think with that thought uh, it's it's a, such a deep thought and i want to leave all the viewers you know delving into it and giving this thought a real thought and begin to start playing golf yes we are looking so forward much. to it <laughs> thank you so much ma'am thank for spending you, your time and this amazing conversation that we've had thank you thanks a lot ma'am thank, thank you thank you i think